Oh! Wow, all right, so I made it. So the convention center is, is uh, right behind where I parked right here. And uh, it was a beautiful desert sunset drive. And I wanted to show you guys this, what my uh, my MPGs were. I drove 342 miles and got 28.5 miles per gallon. So uh, I think it was going like 65-ish the whole time. Super mellow drive. Uh, beautiful through the desert, like I said. I didn't get any footage of that. Oh, wow, look at that Bronco. That's awesome. Oh, squirrel. Awesome. But uh, tomorrow morning, we'll be going through the, the convention center and checking it all out. All right, I made it bright and early Tuesday morning, and uh, it's not exactly open yet. Got a few more minutes, but there's some cars here I think you'd like to see. And uh, let's check these uh, this little row of cars out just before we get into the actual scene show. All right, so check out this K5 Blazer. Um, 6.2 liter K5 Patriot. It's got the Vortec V8. Check this out, some of you guys will love this. Kept the IFS, whoa. Actually, a lot of you guys will probably hate that. But build team, custom. I don't exactly know who that is. These guys look like pretty legit. Look at this thing. Beautiful job. I don't know about the big rooms, but kept the six lug, big huge brakes. Look at this interior. Ah, a little Cadillac steering wheel, exhaust coming out the side. This thing's pretty sick. I don't exactly know what axle that is. Ah. Look at this. They have free shirts. Take one. I think I will. I think I'm gonna get one of these gray ones. That's pretty sick. Got the recovery gear on the sides. Got a AR-15, I don't know if that's real or not, or they have the bolt in it. That's pretty cool. This thing is pretty nice. I like it. All right, I'm gonna take one of these shirts and then show you the rest of these things. Oh, oh, oh! What do we see here? Holy score body. Wow, I can't even fit this whole thing in the screen. Got a little fifth wheel hitch. Well, not little, that thing is enormous. What is that, like a Dana 80? Dana 70, something like that, on airbags. Wow, oh, look at this uh, track bar right here. That's freaking clean. Little uh, toolbox. Just got the interior. Four bucket seats. Kept it kind of old school, I like it. Beautiful. Beautiful build. Yep, for sure. Those square bodies will suck your money dry. Absolutely. Look at that thing, wow. Super clean. All right guys, so this one row of cars has gotten me stuck, but last one I'm gonna show you, this tow truck, this International on 54s. Look at that, 54, that thing's pretty sick. Let me flip this camera around and show you what's going on. We got this guy talking to himself a little bit. So check this out, 54s. This thing is loaded. So, got a little four link. What axle is that? It's not a Rockwell. Anybody know what that is? Huge. Oh, got some rear steer that's, oh yeah, totally hooked up. Nope, rear steer, it's not hooked up. Anyway, damn, this is just beef. Not painted, nice and rusted. Look at this thing. That is just a ton of metal. I wonder how much this thing weighs. 
Matt's off-road recovery. It's pretty sick. Let's see what we got going on down here. Bill stains, huh? Interesting choice. So you got the front, some recovery points there. That thing's pretty dope. Mickey Thompson's. Badlands, so this is all Harbor Freight stuff. I guess that makes sense, huh? He's got a bunch of Harbor Freight gear on here. <laughs> all right, okay, Harbor Freight. Can't hate. Anyway, too many cars all day long. It's gonna be nuts. All right, it's the first morning. I'm looking for everybody, and I think I got lost and ended up in Florida. Look at all these trucks. <laughs> all these extremely huge hitches and huge rims and tiny little tires. I don't know. Get me out of Florida. This is ridiculous. I'm lost. Somebody come get me. All right, here it is. I found my group. We're about to walk into the hall. Actually, they're walking the opposite way, but I'm gonna try my best to film as much as I can and uh, let you guys in on what's going on. This is my boy Kevin right here, Community Hot Rod Project. He's the one who got me the pass and got me here and made sure I was doing all right and everything. So I appreciate you, Kevin, thank you. So you're getting this video because of Kevin. So let's check the rest of the, the show out. All right, guys, I know my thing is off-roading, but look at this. What do you think this is? Looks like a Corvair. Actually, it says it right here. Oh, Corvair redone. So is the engine in the rear or is it in the front? I don't know. It's got some exhaust pipes coming out the rear. Dude, this thing is insane. It definitely does have like a transaxle situation going on. Wow, this thing is sick. Looks like it's got turbos in the front. Or, or at least some kind, some kind of air ducting in the front. Obviously in a Corvair, the motor's in the rear, so does it have a frunk? I don't know. I would really love to check this thing out a little bit closer. Wow, this thing is incredible. Oh, you can't really see in there. This thing's nice. Check this guy out. Wow. All right, guys, the first ZR2 I found looks like uh, Expedition one, is it theirs? I'm not sure, or he could just be running their gear. But yeah, dude, this is a clean ZR2. From Utah, nice, got the, got the bead locks on there. Ooh, something I haven't seen. All right, the six by 120 bead locks. Nice, this thing is super clean. Got the diesel like mine. Got a crazy bumper, man. This bumper is actually pretty sweet. I love how it follows the lines of the front grill. Got the, the winch in there. What are we running here? Falcon. What size are these things? 35s. All right, he's got 35s. This is nice. I'm digging it. All right, guys, I got to show you this real quick. This is my truck as a car. <laughs> Just kidding. This is the Batmobile, dude. The new Batmobile. It's so stoked. Look at this rear motor. I don't even know what motor that is. This thing is sick. Wait, are there two motors? I don't understand what's happening. What is going on? This is incredible. I love it. All right, guys, here's the real deal. I think this is the top of the line in engineering. To be completely honest, maybe I'm biased, but Ultra 4 rigs, I mean, it's all function. I mean, and form follows function, right? So these rigs can almost go anywhere. And that's why I love King of the Hammers. That's why I love Ultra 4. These rigs are built to literally go anywhere. If you ever get a chance to ride an Ultra 4 rig, I highly recommend it. I've only, I've never ridden in a 44 class like this, but the 40, uh, 48 class legends, I love. Check this out. Just the detail and the functionality and the power. I mean, I love it. Super awesome to, to see some Ultra 4 here. And oh, look, this guy run the Baja 1000 in this? Love it. This thing's sick. All right, guys, if anybody asked me what my dream truck is, it would be this thing. 72 
C10 all-wheel drive diesel. So they put a front axle in here, four-wheel drive. Wow. Got the Duramax in here all built up. Look at these, look at these, uh, look at these CV, the geometry on this. A little bit tight, but this thing is super clean. Wow. All-wheel drive diesel, 72. Look at this. Incredible. Lifted the bed up a little bit. Got to stuff all that fun stuff under there. Oh, man. Super clean. Man, there you go. Dream truck right there. All right, the new SUV Rivion. This thing is sick. Uh, there's a truck over there. Optimum battery, obviously. They're they're sponsoring it. Look at all these these uh, electric bikes. Check this out. Got the whole situation happening. I love it. All right, guys, we're here with mostly all the products and stuff like that for your shop if you own a shop. But look, we, we what we came across: this motorcycle, hubless, single-sided. Hubless, look at this. this thing is insane. Wow, that thing is cool. Let me get out of the way so everybody can see this. Whoa, crazy design! Something to aspire to. I would, I would love to make some things like this. Wow, I love it. Super cool. If you guys haven't seen my motorcycle, I'll put a picture up in the corner so you can see. Kind of similar, but not, you know. <laughs> We got some turbo smart stuff, some waste gates. Dang, look at this thing. So guys, fantastic Wow. Look at that. Yeah, we're not doing any dual turbo setup. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, what's up with the cracked windshield? All right, so here's some of the stuff that I was expecting to see more of. A lot of electric drive systems and batteries. So this is a cool DeLorean right here. Check this out. So this looks like it says this, this is the battery. Motor's obviously underneath it. Oh, I don't want, I can't squat that low. Super cool. So I thought I'd see a lot more of this stuff. The, all the electronic stuff going on. But uh, yeah, this is this is pretty neat stuff. Oh, there you go. There's the motor. So it looks like this comes as a package. You get the motor, you get the battery set up. That's what it looks like. Oh, there you go. There's some of the batteries right there. All right, like I said, uh, a lot of electric stuff around here, and that right here is very quickly going to kind of go through. So they're they're basically showing that. You can get a motor, the battery, everything, like he says, down to the hose clamps in a box, ready to put into your vehicle. So this is Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey. <laughs> and Matt was saying everything down to the hose clamps, you're basically um, ready to go to, to plug in. Yeah, it's it's all the stuff. You know, batteries included. There's batteries right there. You, know, you don't have to go down to Walmart and get your batteries. It's all it's all there. If you if you want to turn it over to that guy right there. Uh, Hey, That's my brother Mike, he packs it all, so he'll tell you it's all in there. I put it in the box, and my signature's in there on the packing slip. So it's so. all. So if I wanted to uh, electrify any vehicle I can dream of, I basically just order this package for me. You fit three of those battery modules and a motor in it, you're good to go. Wow. And like, uh, like your brother was saying, all the way down to the hose clamp, that's ready to go, mounting and everything. Yeah, you, 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 you do have to mount the motor. Right. For sure. Yeah, right. Because we, we, we don't know what you're going to put it in. Right. So yeah, I, I can't really guess where you're going to put it in. Anything. And then the actor as well. But it's pretty standard stuff. And we've worked with people that uh, do the design or manufacturing of that stuff. So, wow. yeah, we can get it there. And if you want, we'll send you uh, boxes that are empty. If you want to test fit everything before you spend oh, all the money. That's a great idea. We'll send you a box. And the, yeah, we'll charge you for them. Then when you send them back, we'll, we'll refund you. Right. Yeah. Wow. So you just see if it fits. I love it. That's yeah, very cool. Where are you guys out of? Uh, our manufacturing is in uh, Georgia, Dawsonville, Georgia, cool. near uh, Atlanta Motor Sports Racetrack, where we awesome. test our stuff. Very, very cool. Awesome. Well, there's another cool product. Thanks, guys. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks. All right. Those guys are pretty awesome. And look who's talking to them right now. Dan. That's pretty cool, man. Just met him. Here's uh, So they sell that box with three batteries. 
thinking about putting something like this in an Ultra 4 rig. What do you guys think? Super cool. Atom Drive Systems. Check them out. All right, I know you guys have seen this rig just about everywhere. You see it out at King of the Hammers. This thing is everywhere. Gridlock. And I haven't seen this one before. They're putting all-wheel drive on a buggy. Pretty intense here. Rockstar, man, they go wild. Look at this. I love the fabrication. Rear steer, that's wild. A little rock buggy, huh? It's an actual VW bug shell. Nothing left of the VW bug but the shell. That's kind of cool. There we go. A little Genrite rig right here, as usual. Doing the Mickey Thompsons as as uh, Rockstar always does. Some Bajas up there. Sick. Well, let's move on. All right, guys. We got a big reveal going on. I really don't know what it is, but everybody's got their camera up, so I might as well do what everybody else is doing. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to mention that everybody knows that Michael Hunt, Kevin Hunt's got a car that's so I'm gonna break through the crowd here, all the all the guys that actually build this. <laughs> this is amazing, man. Check this out. The detail, the attention to detail is insane. Whipple charger on top, fully integrated. I doubt it's No, probably not. We run the same sort of fast car on fiber. <laughs> Literally everything they said. Insane. The roll cage is carbon fiber. Everything. There you go. It'd be scary to drive this thing. How? how light it is. Wow. All right guys, so that was some of the cool stuff on the inside. Uh, now I'm outside, there's some drifting going on behind me. You see a big old, big old smoke plume behind me, but uh, check out some of these rigs. Just gonna kinda real quickly take you through some of this, this stuff just kinda lined up on the outside. So what do we got here? Got a Black Ops, kind of Overland, big Ford rig right here. Got a new Grand Cherokee all done up. This thing's pretty dope. Nice wrap. Guess what, another Bronco. Keeping that IFS, got the Baja kits, just like me. Pretty sick, dude. This thing's, this thing's clean, I like the two doors. Two doors are dope. Rims are a little too wild for me, but uh, I mean, to each their own. That thing's pretty cool, cool build, I like that. We got here R1 Concepts. That's the you get your brakes from R1 Concepts. They got a nice little car here. Oh, Mazda. Thing's cool. Power Stop. Some more brake companies. A lot of boost going in that thing. What else we got?
We got a line of bro dozers right here, straight from Florida. Just kidding, I don't know where they're from. He's out. At least the the meat on the tires are getting a little bit bigger. Look at that. Sick. This thing, what's it good for? Not a whole lot. But it looks cool. I mean you gotta you gotta appreciate the engineering and uh, the geometry, kind of like how they build it is impressive, but what is it good for? I mean, not a whole lot. Alright, we're out here by the, the Hoonigan guys and they got a bunch of rigs just destroying their tires. Check destroy this thing. So here we go. Wally, are you ready? Send them out, let's go. Pop some curbs. <laughs> nice. What a sick build. All right, we are now walking to the main floor here. Check this out. Nuts. There's so many people. There's freaking cars everywhere. I'm about to bump into a beautiful ride. <laughs> All right, let's go check this out. I'm excited. All right, for all you snail heads. That turbo is as big as the freaking motor. Yes. Yes. Incredible. Where are we at? SDPS. Look at that freaking turbo. Wow, here it is. Some of you have seen it on Instagram. Look at this thing. This is the brand new chopped up K5 Jimmy. How sick is this? I wish uh, Chevrolet offered this, but this is a fully custom situation. Look at this thing. Imagine off-roading in your ZR2 or your Colorado and it had something like this. Oh man, that's just like a dream. You know what? You think I should do it with my Colorado? Do something like this? Look, it's pretty, pretty solid how they did that. You just cut out the back end, put in a rear seat. Oh man, this thing is beautiful. Super cool. 
Very cool build. Man, let's do this to my ZR2. Who's up for it? Here you go, another badass Ultra 4 rig right here in the Torco booth. Yes! Torco, man, that's some of the best fluids you can get for your, for your off-road rig. Damn. There it is, guys, I found it. The Hoonicorn. It's so sick. Look at this bad boy. Holy crap. What's funny is I see this thing going up and down Santa Barbara. Well, not it driving, but it in a trailer up and down Santa Barbara. Going up to Tascadero. Man. This thing is incredible. Look what I just walked up to. They call this the K5 Bully. Oh my goodness. A little bit wild on the wicker seats, or the leather seats. But check this out, brand new chassis, IFS. Obviously it's not a solid axle K5. This is a fully brand new build. Beautiful, look at that air intake coming in. Ooh, supercharger just sitting up there. The frame kind of goes all the way through. Man, this thing is incredible. Look at this long ass trailing arm. <laughs> yes, fully fab nine inch IFS in the front. That's pretty sick. Love it. This is such a crazy build. These are the same guys that built the um, the all uh, carbon fiber Camaro that you just saw. It's a beauty. All right, here it is, guys. Garbage dream. I've wheeled with this uh, rig in Oregon before, so if you guys recognize it, it looks like it got a little bit of a different. Um, wrap on it but let's check this thing out a little bit closer. if you guys watched my video when I went up to Portland for the mile star uh, trip oh it looks like they got the the new the new XT's on there that's awesome I'm definitely getting the 40s and can't wait to rock those but yeah these guys are pretty cool awesome awesome friends of mine uh, see them out at King of the Hammers all the time and uh, wow look at this look at that shiny nice red right there very cool this rig is uh has been all around the country up and down showing off these milestar tires yeah sick hey check this out i'm still at the milestar booth and my rig is gonna come up on their video i'm excited so let's uh see we just i just saw brian out there by the track uh there's the the, the torque masters guys this is our trip in Oregon, so I'm right there. You can see me in the rig. So we defaulted to Perry South Campground. Ooh, there I am. There's my truck. Woo! <laughs> awesome. That's pretty cool. Out here at SEMA at the Milestar booth. All right, guys, day one is done. Everybody's kind of closing up, the moon's out. Everybody's kind of going back to their hotels and checking out the strip and all that. And while nobody is here, you got to see this thing. Wow, let me flip this around. Oh man, what a beauty. I know this thing has been all over Instagram for the past few months. HP Tuners put together this incredible, look at this, two fabricated nine inch, oh man. That is incredible. Look at this thing. Ah, maybe I'll, uh, I'll I'll come back during the daytime and get you some some video of this in the sunlight. But man, it's just cool to kind of see it while nobody else is here. Look at this thing. Huge supercharger sticking out the hood. Man, this thing is gorgeous. Wow insane, like this insane build. 
beautiful. All right, well that wraps up day one. Uh, I think I'm gonna go get some dinner, try to get some sleep, and show you what we got on day two. Hey guys, so it's Tuesday morning and I'm finally making it to the overland kind of area. You're gonna see a lot of Jeeps, and you're gonna see a lot of Broncos, that's just the way it is. But I'm here to show you all of it, so let's get to it. All right guys, there's a lot of wild stuff here. Here's one of them. I know this is a car show, but this is a speaker booth right here. Check this out. What? You got an ATV on the water. This thing is sick. Full suspension, motor in either side. Look at this thing. Little four pumper Yamaha on each side. It's full suspension, all built in, just like a regular Razor. All stainless steel. Wow. That's pretty neat. Little two seater. Imagine ripping some waves on this thing, man. Oh, that's super cool. <laughs> wow. And then behind it is this wild boat with a ton of speakers. Look at this thing. Unreal. That looks like a lot of fun on the water. Wow. Look at this thing. Almost looks like some kind of military boat. If it wasn't all lit up. <laughs> Unreal. Crazy detail all around. All around this entire thing. Look at this. I mean, it's, it's like a, a weird kind of soft pad. Very, very cool. A lot of detail. Wow. These guys are definitely showing it up I like it they got a motorcycle they got another ATV what a crazy booth wet sounds amazing I bet they have some pretty good speakers for uh, for your rig if you want to take if you want to be the loud one on the trail check out these little groms these are sick dude little Hondas oh my god a lot of detail in this thing Wow I love it. Just imagine shredding some, uh, putting this in the truck, shredding it down the trails. Oh man, that's pretty sweet. What's up, man? They're just walking in. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. This one's got the slicks, the street tires. This one's got some knobbies. Very, very cool. Little Hondas. Sick. Check out this vet. What a beauty. So much work done, you don't even, oh my God, you didn't even see that. You don't even see all the little details on these builds, you know? It's just incredible how everything blends in. So well done, you don't even notice it. Super nice. All right, here you go. Another Bronco build. Solid axle. Lights. <laughs> Crazy rims. Look at this thing, this is nuts. Let's see what we got. Looks like a Dana 60 or 70 in the rear. Oh, Bluetooth drive shaft, yeah. That'll work. That'll get you off-road. <laughs> These builds are getting ridiculous. This is just insane. It's a 
little bit too crazy to actually take anywhere. Wow. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh man. Mud digger off road. Mud digger. That's amazing. All right. Another Bronco build. What do you guys think? Got the wide track. Oh man, you think this thing can go up Chocolate Thunder? Ooh, yeah, it's got a sick little suspension with Baja kits. All right, some cool stuff, but I don't think this thing is going anywhere near an off-road trail. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? No, I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> Random guy. It's a, of, it's a lot of money, but um, yeah. I don't think it's... A, might go over a curb at the mall. <laughs> might go over. I don't think it'll do that. It'll no. bend a rim. It might get stuck in the wet grass though. That'd be fun. <laughs> Random guy just co-signing on how horrible this is. All right, I make fun of a lot of these trucks that are just a little too crazy, but you do have to respect the engineering and the the fabrication of all of this. Now, all these trucks, they're probably never gonna see a dirt road in their life. But this one's pretty cool, so let's check it out. Huge four inch tube Dana 60 up front. That's pretty dope. Enormous, let's see what size tires these are. 440, whatever that is. This is America, let's use the inches, huh? <laughs> An F450. Yeah, Bluetooth drive shaft, that's cool. Let's see if that ever goes off road. This pinion angle might hurt you if you go down the road. At least it's a dually, that's cool. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, I'd cruise in it. <laughs> oh, horn blasters. Where is your horn at? I bet it's in the rear. There it is. There's the horns. They got gotcha. you. Oh, actually, dude, this, uh, this, this is pretty sick. Wow, let's make sure this thing goes straight down the road. No, it's actually pretty cool. I make fun of these things a lot, but I mean, monster truck, right? Off-road, let's do it. All right, guys, another Gladiator build. Not super original, but it looks cool. I love the color. That's pretty cool. Got a cool rack I haven't seen before. Let's see, worn wrench as usual. I like that, uh, I actually do like this snorkel. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think? All right, on from that Jeep to whatever this is, a little rat rod, this thing is sick. I don't even know what, what rear end that is, a little clamshell. That's pretty cool. Dude, you gotta be a tiny person to sit in this thing. It's actually pretty cool though, I'm digging it. It's each their own, you know, I mean, I'd cruise in this thing. Wow, just LS the world, huh? I like this, they said, we need more scratches. <laughs> this is sick, I like this. That's, that ain't going nowhere. Pretty cool, I like it. All right guys, I'm walking up to the King Shock booth. Got BJ Baldwin's rig here. This thing has been in multiple races, has been just absolutely destroyed. This thing is awesome, man. They did a really great job. When he moved to Black Rifle Coffee, I was a little, I was a little surprised, but. Um... And I'm sure you guys have seen all kinds of videos with this rig. Enormous King Shocks. Those 4.5 yeah super cool what we got next Ooh, sick little GM build I like it I think I've seen this truck before Let's see what we got oh big ass trailing arm all the way to middle of the rig love it running 30 39s, running 39s, little J-arm. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of machine, or machined aluminum right there. Pretty sick. I'd cruise that thing. All right, there's a ton of these 
I don't know what you call them, Florida trucks? I don't know, donk trucks? I don't know, whatever it is. But this one kind of caught my interest because it kept the IFS. So this is kind of what I have planned for my Colorado. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you everything that I'm gonna do with my truck, but I'm gonna show you what this truck has that I might put in mine. All right, so it kept the IFS. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. And they did a really great job with finding parts for this. I can't find very many parts for this uh, nine and a quarter uh, IFS situation. But man, these axles look a little bit thicker than uh, than what they normally do. But anyway, awesome job on the on the fabrication. This looks great. And uh, just a little preview. This is uh, going to be going in my rock crawler something like this now they put a little spacer right here i don't need to do that because uh my a arms aren't going to be as far out there with the baja kits situation that i have but you do got to respect everybody's doing the old solid axle swap but this guy decided to stay with the ifs i kind of like that good job dude here we go like i said all you're gonna see are bronco builds and toyotas because those guys like to spend the money, I guess. But we're here at ARB. I love ARB and their products and what they do. But uh, let's check out what else they got. Another Toyota build, another Bronco build. Original, guys. <laughs> I know, I guess I'm being kind of negative. But um, it is what it is. Ooh, let's try some air lockers. Very cool. Ooh, maybe I can ask him about my nine and a quarter. I gotta show you this. This is a, call it a side-by-side, -side, built as the Batmobile. This thing is incredible, check this out. What? Dude. And then they'll put- This is incredible. Let me zoom out so you can see this. What? I don't even know what to say, except that this is incredible. The guy said it has a Mopar, Mopar V8 in it. I don't know exactly what he said, but look at this thing. Oh, yes. Every little piece is custom. Unreal. Imagine driving this down the road. I don't. I would love to see what the axle is in there, but it's got a. He said it's got a Dodge. Dodge something there. Maybe I'll ask him. Anyway, this company makes, look at it, there's a mini one. There's a little golf cart that looks just like it. What? This thing is incredible. Let's see on the inside. A little two-seater. That's so wild. The Batmobile. Super cool. Here it is. I'm sure you guys have all seen videos of this thing jumping and hitting the hitting the dunes and hitting the whoops and everything Lake Wilkie and his uh his shreddy uh what is this trophy truck bug this thing is so sick if you haven't seen a video of this I would be surprised I saw uh, Blake walking around yesterday I said hi he doesn't know me but I obviously know who he is um but uh, he's just a cool dude, you know? He's, he's like super nice and uh, he knew my buddy Kevin that I came here with and uh, they were talking for a while. I mean, Blake's just like uh, a guy's guy, you know? Just, just, just trying to have some fun and he just built some sick trucks and you know, props to that guy, you know? I, it, it's, just a, it's just a great community that he's built around him with, uh, with Terror Crew and everything like that. But yeah, man, this thing is sick. Love it. Let's see what's going on in the back here. Dude, what? Beautiful welds. There we go, focus, focus on the welds. Love it. Oh nice, I like this little gear bag. That's sick. 
kind of axle we got. Fully fab. Curry axle. Nice. Four link. Super cool. Yeah, dude. Sick. Love it. Moving on. All right, so I made it to the corner of the, the Overland kind of area, right? So there's Dometic right there. They got a ton of cool stuff. Obviously the fridges and the power and all that for your Overland rig, but I found my way to the corner over here and right above me says the Overland Experience and they have a bunch of cool rigs, kind of like this big old bad boy box truck kind of situation going on. There's, uh, I don't want to run into anybody. They got this cool, van life situation going back there that things all like right aligned it's pretty cool but uh let's take a closer look at some of these vehicles all right check out this van life wow this thing is loaded down wonder oh it's all right it's all good that's why we're here this thing's pretty neat it still has all the passenger row seats in there, so they didn't fully build out the inside of this thing. It's probably why they have the door closed. Got a nice Dana 60 up front. Interesting. Super cool. Some KC lights up top. Interesting. Super sick. What else we got? Ooh, this thing looks like it's squatting a little bit. Probably has like a forced suspension hydraulic or air situation going on oh liquid spring that's exactly what's going on so fluid motion you can adjust the suspension with uh with this see this big old hydraulic line right here going into your uh call it a strut i don't know coil over whatever it is that's kind of cool got a big old scout in the back nice Ooh. no touchy nice this thing oh look another bronco <laughs> another tacoma <laughs> wow original sick that's a cool little area I like what they did there oh look another gladiator whoa what the heck is this 27 north what is going on here Let's yeah. check this out. Military wheels and tires. You got a Kevlar Adventure skin. You got ballistic glass. You got a drone that deploys. You got a camera system that you can access from your phone anywhere in the world. You got military grade tracking system. You got an all walnut custom luxury interior. You got yacht grade appliances. You got a yacht grade water filtration system. You can literally take sewer water, filter it, and drink it as fresh water. What? I love it. What's your name, dude? Paul Mabostic. I'm the founder and CEO. Oh my gosh, dude. This guy saw me filming and he came up and just laid it down. I love it. We're this is just getting started. This is super cool. So, all the things that he said are incredible, but also. The look of this thing just looks amazing. So all these all these windows are bulletproof, is what yes, you said? Sir. Wow, this is this is just unreal. So you guys are getting how long have you guys been a company? So we started in 2017. Sick. So the CEO is gonna take us through. Wow. Look at this. He said this thing is military grade. All these windows are bulletproof. Bulletproof windows, they definitely cut through the back of this. Wow, that actually felt amazing. Look at this thing. All right, let's go in there. Wow, all wood. Okay, I don't know they got Backstreet Boys playing. <laughs> Holy, what is happening? This thing is beautiful. Glass door, bathroom, incredible, 27 North. Very cool. Wow. That was impressive. Let's see what else this guy has. Wow, that was actually super impressive. These guys, 27 North. Check them out. All right guys, here it is. It's been a day and a half when I found my first ZR2 Colorado on the floor. Let's check this thing. Hello. Off-grid trailers, huh? So 
it doesn't have much to do with the Colorado. Ooh, they got the AEV fenders. I like that. It's a diesel. I like that. Uh, they got some 589 stuff. I definitely respect 589. They got some great stuff. And it looks like they are, I don't know what they're promoting, but they got all the cool fun stuff. Um, wow, let's look, uh, let's take a little bit closer look. Ooh, they got the Milestar Patagonias. You know, you guys know I run those. Super cool. Yeah, this thing's pretty sick. All right, so of all the Broncos here at the SEMA show, there's one Bronco that actually caught my eye, and this is Eric. Yeah, this is Eric, and I'll let him kind of go through it a little bit uh, for you guys. Well, thank you. Well, so I have a company called Max Slider Brothers Customs, and we've got a few Broncos at the show. The one behind me is a 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor with our Clydesdale package on it that is a tribute to, to the uh, classic four-door Bronco we brought to SEMA in 2019 that finished in the top 12 of the Battle of the Builders. Look at this thing. All right, so that was Eric, and he basically uh, makes these things in Illinois. This thing, so from Ford, you can order this from Ford. They'll send a Bronco to his factory and he's gonna basically bolt on all this stuff for you with all the options all the interior super impressive so really of all the broncos in this sema show this thing gets my thumbs up for sure from from a gm chevy guy you know yes. neat. i like it great little display too all right guys here at the Kendigit booth here's the million dollar corvette right here I would get closer if I could, but they got it blocked off. Wow. Incredible. Let's go see the other side of it. No words can explain how amazing this thing is. Incredible. Incredible. Here it is guys, Hoonigan with the Crate Engine 632 that GM has to offer it. So they threw this thing in this Camaro. I've been, I watched all the YouTube videos. These guys did an amazing job. This thing is scary. I love it. We got Hoonigan in the background just blowing up tires. I heard that uh, all the guys destroying their tires, they go through literally a million dollars in tires. I bet this thing can roast some rubber, man. Look at this, wow. Incredible, that thing's sick. Hey, check this out, guys. So from North Hall to South Hall to West Hall and everything, they have a bunch of Teslas going underground, taking us to all the different places. This thing is incredible, check this out. Our booth and I'm checking out these 42s on this old school they call it super duty this thing is awesome man check this rig out Oh, is that a 
coyote? What's going on in there? Now it's the old school 5 -0. That's nice. Love the gold. White and gold, man. That'll do ya. Wow, a little modern in there, huh? Wow, that's clean. The new DeLorean. What? Marty McFlot? Dude, new DeLorean. This thing is incredible. All electric. Wow, what is going on here? Incredible. Right next to old school DeLorean. Look at this thing. Dependable? Not really. See if this thing's dependable? I don't know. <laughs> That's incredible though. All right, everyone, day two kind of winding down. We're heading back to, uh, I don't even know where we're going. I'm just following my boys right here with Hot Rod Community Project. They kind of know the secret passage on how to get out of here instead of waiting in the big old long line to get to the tram. So we're heading out and uh, maybe get some dinner. So that was some of the fun stuff you got to see at the car show. Here's some of the fun stuff you get to see on the strip. Check out this booth. Uh, I think it's wraps. So these guys do a bunch of wraps. You got a little demo going on. The Lambo. Uh, the new, uh, are these even Mustangs? I don't know, but check this out. Oh, sorry dude. Okay. I'm in the way of everybody trying to film. Uh, yeah, check this Taco Bell <laughs> McLaren. This is incredible. This guy's wearing a mask, doing some demos. This booth is wild. I like it. Bunch of sick cars. Ooh, look at that C8 Corvette right there. Bunch of body kit. Body kit on the C8. Look at that. That's nice. I'm gonna send this, send this to my buddy Campisi. See what they do with their C8. I think they're getting a new Z06. Check them out, Jarrett Campisi, Christina Khalil. They do a lot of cool stuff with their C8. Go check their YouTube out. Nice. This is a cool little booth. Why is this guy wearing a mask? <laughs> oh, I love it. Taco Bell, McLaren. That's pretty cool, man. Check this out, guys. Here in Sydney, you got a lot of crazy displays. These guys, they do flatbeds for your truck, and they brought a mammoth out here. They got a long line for people to hit the, try to hit the bell. Kind of cool. You see all kinds of different wild displays. Like these guys, they have. <clears throat> They have their tires off so you can see the suspension at Icon. I mean, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of cool stuff, but this one definitely is uh, an attention grabber. This mammoth just sitting here moving around and... <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That's amazing. Super cool. Here's another wild build for you guys. Oh, you're good. It's a little 6x6 TRX Apocalypse. This thing's actually super cool. Crazy engineering going on here. I love it. Super cool. They got the mile stars on, like my rig. It's all it's all coated in a. Uh, I wish I could tell you. I think this is the booth that um, that's showing off that coating. I don't exactly know what it is, but let's uh, let's look for it. Oh yeah, Warlord, huh? <laughs> where's the uh, where's the the Punisher sticker? Love it. <laughs> I mean, you got to make fun of them a little bit, but it's a super cool build, super cool display. Look at this thing, these guys are just digging that suspension. Yeah, so this is like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a, like a rhino lining situation. Pretty cool, 6.2 supercharged. I love the, the uh, bronze on black. That's probably one of my favorite color combinations. Neat. All right guys, another Bronco build, but this one's worth it. What's great about this is it's basically kind of product design 74 weld in their portals 
are adapting it to a more road kind of situation so there's a lot of the stuff that they product development on that ultra four that they have in this um i don't know this series of, of bronco they call it the front haver uh runner xlt so you can basically buy this from fun haver just like the way it is right now and you can run literally any trail at king of the hammers in this thing i mean it's incredible but like i said a lot of product development r d with the ultra four going into these rigs right so beautiful beautiful builds i mean lauren healy and all the guys of fun haver incredible incredible r d so that these rigs can be uh beat up and and run for you guys right so a lot of stuff on here i'm trying to um adapt into the colorado so you don't know it yet this is kind of the first time i'm saying it uh you guys know i'm putting the 14 bolt in the rear uh they have a full fab house i think it's a 10 inch ring in this thing but i'm gonna do some trailing arms and i'm gonna have a bed cage and all that so a lot of the geometry i'm trying to replicate from ultra four rigs and stuff like that but enough about me this bronco right here is my favorite bronco at this show out of the probably three four five hundred broncos that are here but anyway check out project x and uh if you want to see more about the fun haver stuff and here's some more shots of it the end of the day day three i think for me and i'll do one more uh little walk around of something i really like this little uh, suzuki samurai this thing is sick got some dirty life wheels i love it dude this thing is super clean tinted wind tinted front windshield i don't know if that's the safest thing but it looks amazing little suzuki samurai look at this thing perfect little lift on it oh i love it I, don't, I really don't know what else to say besides this thing is just super clean. Let's just kind of check it out here. A little trail gear sticker, yeah. A little Fresno situation going on. You guys know I was born and raised in Fresno, right? Wheeling in the Sierras. Oh, I love how the diff is uh, a little over to the side. So the front diff is the same way. That's kind of cool. I love these, dude, these Samurais are so awesome. A little leaf spring. All right, after showing you that build, I think this is gonna be the end of the video. And I uh, appreciate you guys walking around with me and checking out all these crazy, crazy vehicles uh, from the, the Donka trucks, I guess you'd call them, to the, to the high-end off-road stuff, to the drifters, it was a lot of fun. And I uh, hope you guys liked it.